Good morning. Thank you for coming. And uh, my name is Sherry Trent. I'm the UF IFAS Extension Agent for the Seminole Tribe, 4-H and Agriculture. I'm Allie Williams. I'm the Hillsborough County Small Farms and Alternative Enterprises Extension Agent. Uh, Sherry and I are members of South Florida Beef Forage Group, and we're going to be covering um, our programs that we do, what South Florida Beef Forage is, and some additional resources for you. So this group has been uh, pretty established. Uh, 1981 is when this group got started. So we've got a good foundation. Um, we consist of various different extension agents from South and a little bit of Central Florida. We were able to cover 18 counties. Uh, and we also work with the uh, UF Range Cattle Research and Education Center here in Ona. Um, our goal with our group here is to develop different livestock programs for producers to provide them research-based education. So we take up 18 counties in Florida. Um, some of our agents are multi-county, so we're able to um, expand our, our area to provide that uh, resources. We come from very different backgrounds based on education. Um, some people came out of sales. Uh, we've got people that are specializing in nutrition, reproduction. So we're able to collaborate and bring all these different ideas and topics to our livestock producers here in South Florida. Uh, our agents are made up of some livestock, ag and natural resources agents and small farms agents. So we've got lots of different members. Um, some of our members are the extension agents and then some of our members are specialists um, and faculty. And I'm going to pass it over to Sherry so that she can go over our extension programs. Hi, so um, I'm Sherry Trent again, and I'm going to talk about the extension programs that we provide throughout the year um, here from the South Florida Beef Forages. Um, South Florida Beef Forage designs and implements programs to assist and educate producers. Um, we have different programs that are in different places in the state. They have different locations, different topics, um, dates and durations. Some are um, a whole day, some are multi-day, some are evening. Just um, we try to offer different opportunities for different people. And we evaluate those programs annually to adapt and accommodate by incorporating participant and advisory committee feedback. We, we love to have feedback so we can improve every year on our program so we can address whatever issues are um, needed for that, that this time. Um, one of the first ones we have is um, the forage management tour and workshop that was already um, happened in March and was in LaBelle um, last month. And the purpose was to gain practical knowledge about improved forages and pasture management. And some of the topics were soil sampling demonstrations, weed prevention through ground cover selection, herbicide and biocontrol, and healthy soil practices. Um, the purpose, main purpose was to maxim, maximize potential for your forage. And this is a very, um, very good workshop that a lot of people attended. I can't remember how many it was, but it was, it was very well attended. Next one, environmental lands management, is a one-day program as well. It was uh, March 31st, just uh, two weeks ago here at Ona, and the purpose of it was to increase the knowledge of the ecosystem and services provided by grazing cattle and incre increase productivity and forage management. We had multiple speakers, multiple topics um, covering ecosystem services, soil health, stocking rates, forage management, body condition scoring, and a tour of the facility with demonstrations. Now, one coming up very soon, next week actually, is um, uh, the Herd Health Seminar. This is a one-day program, all day, April 21st in Polk County. And um, if anyone's interested in this, we actually have a flyer. I didn't grab them, but we have flyers for these. It has all the information and the registration. Every time we have a program, we put out a flyer that has all the information, the dates, the topics, and it has a registration link that you can register uh, beforehand. And the purpose of this one is to improve overall health of the herd, increase weight gain in wean calves. And our topics are calf management practices, calf management economics, and value added programs. And there's a panel that will be, um, will be there to 
um, answer any questions that you may have. So if anyone's interested in that, make sure you uh, listen to the whole program and um, we'll have information on how to um, register for that at the end. The next one coming up is the Ranching Foundations Program. I'm really excited about this one. It has, um, it's on three different evenings and three different locations. So again, we're trying to provide as much education as we can to different areas. Um, it's the same exact program in three different places. It'll be in uh, Okeechobee on May 12th, in Sarasota on May 16th, and Pasco County on May 19th. And this is designed for beginning or small ranches that need some help at the beginning, um, providing education regar regarding raising cattle with good stewardship practices, pasture management, and utilizing land to its potential. Uh, some topics will be site assessment and resources, best management practices, pasture establishment and management, and pasture weeds. Again, this one's coming up really soon, so I hope um, we'll have some people that want to attend. Next one is nutrition for beef females. There are two opportunities for this one full day program. That last one, I forgot to mention the Ranching Foundations is only evening, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but this one's a whole day. Um, one's at May 25th in Okeechobee, and one's May 26th in DeSoto. And the purpose is to improve production and cattle nutrition, body condition, and overall weight gain of cattle. And some topics are body conditioning, scoring, and nutritional practices. And again, this is uh, the same program in two different places. That way we try to get as many people as we can um, informed. Another program we have is Cattle Management for Women. It's a one-day program for women on October 20th in Ona. And um, this is just an opportunity for women to only be here to kind of collaborate and um, be able to speak out and talk to each other, communicate. And it's different aspects of cattle and range management for today's cattle operations. Pen design, forage and grazing management, proper soil, tissue, hay, and water sampling, and alternative enterprises for ranchers. We'll have a panel discussion on electronic identification and record keeping. And to foster an intimate interactive educational experience, this program is limited to the first 50 paid participants in October. This is one of my favorites right here. Um, I don't know if we've mentioned this yet, but Allie and I are both new agents. We both started in October, and this actually happened the first week of my of my job. I, that's the second day of my job. I went to this repro school, and I was just I just thought it was wonderful. Um, it's a three-day program on a beef ranch in Hendry County, and um, it's very hands-on. That's what I love about this one. It's very, very hands-on. The purpose is to increase profitability, knowledge, and experience concerning viability of reproductive system of cattle. And um, there's a combination of hands-on lab activities and um, classroom type settings. The topics are nutrition, pasture management, bull health, breeding season lengths, artificial insemination practices, BQA practices, genetic selection, and palpation. We actually have, have it set up. We have veterinarians there that um, assist you in palpating and preg checking. And um, we don't actually practice AI, but we, um, do talk about it a lot and um, we can understand how things are, are worked. We have hands-on labs, shoot side demonstrations, classroom presentations and seminars. This is an amazing program that um, if you would like some hand, real hands-on experience, it's a great one to attend. And um, this one is in October as well. The Winter Supplementation Seminar is a one-day program on September 22nd in DeSoto County. And its purpose is to address nutritional needs of the cow herd, maintain body condition and improve productivity. Of course, over the winters when a lot of our cows like to drop weight, so we wanna make sure that um, we're keeping that weight on them. The topics are nutritional requirements for cattle, body condition maintenance, trace minerals, and molasses composition. And that's in September. And now I'll turn it back over to Allie so she can talk about some additional resources and how you can gain even more information from our website. So I don't know how many people have gone to the South Florida Beef Forage website, um, but we've got really great information that that website can provide for you. Uh, I added the link on the slide. Um, I think that the slides will be up on the ONA website afterwards, so um, you'll be able to get to all these slides. 
So I just took screenshots of the website instead of going through it. Um, but there's the column with all of these different topics as well as the ribbon along the top. Um, and we've got items like articles, um, information on EPDs, uh, newsletters, and um, lots of great uh, links over here. <clears throat> so articles of the month, um, we have our members of South Florida Beef Forage and some of our specialists uh, write an article each month. So this is going to be on topics that are normally relevant to that time frame, um, new information, some research uh, updates as well. So you can see that there's various years worth of these articles. So if there's something that you're looking for some more information, um, <clears throat> that's a good section to go back and look at. This is probably one of the, the best parts of this website. So we have a product and service directory. Um, and this covers all different types of services that you might need for your ranch. Uh, so we've got different topics like breeding services, chemical and herbicides. Um, we've got tractor work. So if you're looking for maybe somebody to uh, put fertilizer out on your pastures, you can look on this website and find somebody within your location and it's broken down by county so that you're able to um, contact somebody and find that service for your ranch. And if you have a uh, company that you could provide a service and you'd like to be added to our list, uh, we've actually got a spot up here where you can email us um, to request to be added to this list. Um, and this is one that I typically, especially my small farmers, um, I, I show them this, this link here and uh, it's a really great resource for them, especially if they're not too familiar with the industry, they have a, a directory of where they can go to get some of these services. So upcoming events, Sherry just talked about a lot of our upcoming events, and this is a spot where you can find what we've got, <clears throat> what we've got in the books. Um, and there's these spots to register. So if you were interested in maybe the herd health seminar, you can come to our website and go on the upcoming events page and click the link. Um, and that'll bring you to the event right that way you can register, get more information about those programs. So we keep this updated so that y'all are able to um, attend some of our upcoming programs that you would find helpful to you. Publications and learning resources. So we've got a lot of great links that go to uh, UF's website for different publications. We've got some fact sheets that are really great and focused here in Florida. And then the learning resources also include um, some of our previous programs, if they were recorded or maybe some of the, um, the PowerPoints that went along with that. So maybe you missed something or you're just looking for a little more information. We've got some of that information here on our website that's um, accessible to you. Um, another thing I did want to mention up here, on the publications, we've got um, a really good weed handbook. That's a really common question that I get a lot about identifying weeds, how to treat them. Um, so the weed handbook is a great part of this website. Um, and that's something that might be commonly used. Um, so all of those were, came from the column on the, the side there. Um, and then on the top, there is uh, the, on the ribbon, it says links. So that's where this section came from. Um, and this got links to uh, other websites. So we've got information. Um, we've got the, the research station here linked to it. And um, we've also got information from different ag news. So ag web, uh, cattle today, that way you can get updated information about what's going on in the industry. We've also got the different UF IFAS departments linked up here. So if maybe you're looking for something in agronomy, um, this will bring you directly to that website. We've also got links for water management districts and then some additional resources. So overall, there's a lot that's on this website. I didn't go over everything, um, but if you just start clicking around, you'll be able to find a lot of great resources um, that cover all different topics. So forages, reproduction, nutrition, uh, herd health, all, of, all the different topics we've got covered on the website. So our main goal here is to help our Florida ranchers develop potential for success. Um, so we pride ourselves in supporting the livestock industry in Florida. Um, 
And with that, Sherry and I will take any questions. Any questions online? Yes. The prices for the inputs? Yeah. Um, I don't think so, but that's just because the prices will change pretty often. So we just have where you can find those resources. And then, um, so there's fertilizer companies that are on the website. So you can reach out to that fertilizer company. But if we tried to keep up with the, the changing prices, we'd have to have somebody working on the website all the time. So, um, but we do have the link to where you're able to contact that company directly to get pricing. All right, well, if nobody has questions online, then uh, thank you for letting us talk today. Yeah, thank you very much. Pass it back over. First of all, I would like to invite you to come back and be with us on May 10th for our next ONA highlight. And that is going to be a rangeland wildlife ecology program highlight with Dr. Hans Ellington presenting wild pigs in Florida. The what, why, and how. Dr. Ellington is an assistant professor at the center specializing in grazing lands wildlife. And this and the other events that I'm about to share with you, I will send you these flyers and information on how to register whenever I send you the recording for today's ONA highlight. Um, this one coming up next on April 21st is the Herd Health Seminar, which I'm sure probably was already mentioned. Um, so watch for that flyer, and that one is now free. Um, initially, there was a small charge, but that's been taken care of, so it's a really good program in the evening. Hopefully, you'll be able to attend. Another one coming up, up in Gainesville, is the 71st annual Florida Beef Cattle Short Course. That is a, um, I think, a two, three-day program, and right now, the registration fee is $150. And that includes things like refreshments, lunch, um, one ticket for the stakeout, and a copy of the proceedings. To get that special price, you need to register by May 3rd. After that, the fee goes up to $200, and that will also be the fee at the door. And um, again, I will send you this brochure whenever I send you the other information on today's program. This is a copy of the agenda. If you want to do a quick screenshot or just watch for my email that will also include this. Um, also, as already mentioned, coming up is the fifth annual Nutrition for Bee Females program. Um, that event is going to be held in three locations. Um, the Brooksville location is very small. So that one, you can only see where that's at and who to contact if Brooksville is closer for you off the Eventbrite site. I think they only have room for about seven people. So we are not officially advertising that. As you see on the flyer, we're only showing for the Oco Okeechobee location as well as the Arcadia location, which I believe can seat something like 50 to 70 people. So plenty of room at those locations for this evening program. Um, there is no cost to attend, so I hope you're able to go to that one. This is the new Youth Field Day flyer for this year's event. Registration opens May 1st, and um, registration is going to be limited to the first 125 people. So if you know somebody that might find this program interesting, please share this with them. Um, we will have groups of 25 people each, five groups. They will rotate through these class sites. And then at the end, after lunch, we're hoping to have the Florida Division of Forestry on hand to do a burn demonstration. And they'll be discussing the triangle of fire and how um, regular burning benefits our pastures. So we hope that works out for them to attend. So be sure to share this with anybody you think would be interested. If you're not already doing so, please check out our website, social, us on social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, and an active YouTube channel where videos like today's presentation will be saved, um, as well as all of our field day recordings are there. So be sure and check that out and follow us if you're interested in keeping up with what's going on. And if you're not already on our mailing list, um, just send us an email to ona at ifis.ufl.edu and you will receive weekly notifications of 
happenings, publications, upcoming events, and things going on so you can stay in touch. And now that's all that I have to share today. And um, as I've mentioned, you'll see an email from me later with the recording. And as soon as this completes, you will also be receiving a survey. And if you don't mind, please take a couple of minutes to answer that survey. We really appreciate having your input. And we do have a question. And um, it is, how do we sign up for the Management for Cattle Women? When will that open? When will that program open? So, um, so Sarah, just be watching for that with that event not being until October, right? Maybe three months ahead it will open, or maybe four months. So maybe June, July it'll be opening. And you do want to watch for it, and we'll make sure that you um, are in the loop to get that information um, because this is one of those events that because it's limited and there's very high um, demand for it, it fills up quick. So you definitely want to get in on that as soon as possible. Um, so thank you very much for your question. And if there's no other questions, that's all for today. And thank you for joining us and we look forward to having you back in May.